Okay, well, I'm continuing to create these video tutorials on the Niva system. And one of the things that I wanted to do is actually talk about style sheets in Nivus and how you can use the rich style sheet editor to control uh, text and fonts, also background colors and so on using the style sheet editor and actually talk a little bit about uh, the Baltai domain capability of Nivus as well, and how you can control multiple domain names with one instantiation of Nivus. So if you go into the admin folder, uh, there is the admin uh, or the style admin. In the style admin, you can have any number of style sheets in here, and those style sheets can be used to um, as a default style sheet or style sheets across any templates at all. Let's go ahead. We're going to make a new style sheet, and we'll set it as our default style sheet and see what effect that has on the pages in the system. We're just going to call this new style. And let's use a capital S there just, just to make it look good. So this is our new style sheet. Went ahead into the style editor, and I can go ahead now and start entering in all the information that I need if I wanted to you know just key into this rich editor for style sheets but I also have some toolbar toolbars over here where I can do things like select so if I wanted to do a style sheet uh, let's say just on a span tags or uh, let's just do the body tag um, and set the background color of the pages using style sheets and body tags so uh, let's go ahead and find the body tag in here There's the body tag. Just click, and now it's starting to build that out. We could do background color, and I got a color picker here, or I can use one of these default colors. Let's just do something basic. Uh, let's do I don't know, maybe antique white. Set as the back background color, and let's set our font color uh, as yeah, let's say let's do something like blue violet or something like that now let's just go ahead and save and you see now I've created that new style now it's not my default but let's go ahead and make that my default just by clicking the default now it is over there that's my default and now if I go look at the page um, actually this has a template tied to it so the style didn't change but if I go to this template and I look at the properties, you can see that's set as the main style sheet. We want to use the new one. Go ahead and update that template, and you can see the background colors change. And if I go to the style sheet itself, the links have changed, the link tags have changed, uh, and that background colors changed as well. Going back to the style sheet, another thing you can do is, you know, you can actually, let's go ahead and, and use the link. And, you know, we just want to name these, so we just do the dot .a1. And we'll do another link. And we'll call it dot a2. And let's just do a different font size for those. Uh, let's go font size. Uh, let's go extra large on that link if we use that link style. And we'll go extra small on the other one if we do that link style. And we'll do the text delimited or denote so that's not under underlined there. And just do none on that one and what I'm going to show you is how you can actually tell the link what style to use when you're uh, creating that link so let's go save that we've got that saved and we'll go ahead and turn these into links we'll go into the editor and I'll highlight that text we'll go create a link and we'll go ahead and select the page we want to link to within the Nivus system. I'm just going to click 1, insert that link, and you can see the effect that had on it. Really big link, really big font was placed. And we'll do that with uh, this one as well. So if you know anything about style sheets already, you can see how easy it is to actually use style sheets right within Nivus. Uh, to manage, you know, your links, your text, uh, background images. Uh, there's a style sheet. You can use it in your tables. 
um, and so on. One of the other benefits of being able to create multiple style sheets is if you have multiple domain names that you're going to manage within the Nivus system, what you can do, and I'll show you that when you're in the, in the site admin, these are the uh, URLs that you can, of course, enter and manage. And I can create any number of templates uh, that I want to and assign those to different pages and select a different type of style sheet I want for each template, affecting a complete uh, look and feel different for each one. So just to recap, Rich Style Sheet Editor, um, got a whole bunch of uh, stuff that I can already pick, border size, style, uh, height, weight, all of that you'll want to do to create a uh, compelling style sheet. All the different uh, HTML elements that are over here that you want to select to do that as well. Uh, just really letting you control the look and feel of the websites or website that you're trying to manage.